Question 10. Mrs. Miller is planning a party for 70 children. She will give each child a party bag to take home. She'll put a hat and a toy in each party bag. Party bags are sold in packs of 12, hats in packs of 8, toys in packs of 9. Uh, Mrs. Miller buys the smallest possible number of packs, hats, toys and bags. Uh, and she can fill more than she needs. How many more? Or what we're looking to find is we're looking to find uh, the lowest common multiple of 12, 8 and 9. So the way I went and did this is I thought if you think about the, the party bags, and party bags are called in 12, so it goes 12, um, just doing my 12 times table, multiples 36, and thinking of each is in the 8 and 9s at the same time, uh, 48, oops, 48, 60, and then hats, let's make a list of our hats, hats are packs, only packs of 8, so 1 pack will be 8, 2 packs 16, 3 packs 24, etc. Uh, this one's taking a little bit longer because the number's smaller, so 48. I've not matched up one of these yet. 48. Now that would normally be okay, but because I need toys as well, if I make the list of 48 is the lowest common multiple, uh, sorry, 24 is actually the first time that 8 and 12 get together, and then 48. If we do the 9s, neither of those are in the 9 times table. 36, 45. 54, 63, uh, 72, and I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to add on 12 to this, that goes to 72. Oh, that's great. So those two, it's the first time that 12 and uh, 9, oh no, it's not 36 is the first time 12 and 9 come together, but 8 doesn't. So let's carry our 8 on. 56, 64, ah, there we go, 72. So I get 72 is the lowest common multiple. Okay, so if she buys, uh, if she buys one, two, three, four, five, six packs of party packs, she buys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs of hats, and then she buys eight packs of toys, she will end up with 72 uh, party bags, which will be complete. How many more is, is that than she needs? Well, she wants to make a party for 70 children, so she's going to have two extra.